you know that, on programs, on projects. And, and I find that many of you, the people I speak to, don't even know what is going on in your ministries or departments. You have very scanty information. The moment I know more than you in your ministry, then you must begin to understand that something is very wrong. Because by constitution, you are supposed to advise me. Explain to me how you are going to advise me if you have less information than I do. Who is going to be advising who? I call many, many PSs. You ask them what's going on here. They have no clue. And this is your department. That is the job that you have. You are not a messenger. You are not a security person. You are not a photographer. You are not a watchman. You are the PS or the minister. And the job of the minister and the PS you don't know. Or you don't have information. How, how do you run a ministry or that department or a parastatal if you have no information? That is the highest level of incompetence. So please, take time. Read. There's a lot of literature on your desks. There's a lot of briefs from departments. There are a lot of briefs from all manner of places. Read. I take time myself to read because it's the only way you can have the correct in information for you to be able to make the right decisions. You can never, I promise you, you can never make the right decisions if you do not have the correct information. It will all be a game of guesswork. Get as much. We have many good officers. They send us briefs to our desks, you know, but because of whatever reason, people don't want to read. They don't want to understand what's going on in their, in their, in their, in their, in their state departments or ministries or, or where they, they, they're supposed to be doing. So please, let me ask you, uh, I get a lot of feedback. Uh, from, from the public. For, for example, I was in Kuala and I, I stopped in uh, Likoni and I was talking to the public and uh, one of them was asking me, Mr. President, uh, we haven't quite understood um, how the Hustler Fund Phase 2 is working. How do we form the groups? And I remember I called uh, C.S. Jelugui. I didn't find him, so I called his peers, and I found her, and I explained to her, I told her, look, the public is not understanding this. Did I call you or not on Sunday? You know, I, I told you this is what the public is saying. Please do more sensitization on Hustler Fund Phase 2. Sindio. So, feedback, you know, and, and it's not because uh, of, of, of any, we, we have to perform, you know, we have to perform. So when you hear my deputy saying, find time, travel, but travel and see the people who have hired us, you know, go, go to different parts of Kenya so that you can get feedback from uh, from, from, from the public, and, and on and on and on and on. So um, this is what we must all, uh, when we talk about citizen-centric, it is ultimately the citizens we are, we are serving. As I have said, 
I wish all of you, and I, and I have said this uh, with clarity, you have my goodwill.